Okay, before we move on, uh, I saw some of your comments. I saw some of you say, hey, Jesse, did you know you can go into, I believe it's my abilities, and go here and do this and learn more about the different abilities? I did not know that. In fact, not once did I think to press triangle to see a breakdown of what everything does. More importantly, what, for example, mastering something would do, right? Mastery allows assignment on any icon. Didn't, didn't, uh, didn't know that. Didn't know that. So in theory, I can, let's go back here, go over to here and be like, hmm, I guess I don't like this. I guess I could switch it to gouge. Didn't know any of that. Now I do. Will it change anything? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I am stubborn and stuck in my ways. But I'm gonna mess around with it and and we'll we'll come up with something, I'm sure. Anyway, while we're here. Nope, no 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 new letters. What what is no new letters? For some reason, 48 yards seemed like it would be right out here. I know that... <laughs> See, I'll just go right outside and walk. All right, let's continue on. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? You cracked another crystal? Hell yes. Ooh, wait, hold on, we got quests. Mamma mia, we got, oh, they're gonna make me, okay. Let's do that first since it's all the way over there. Ooh, hello. Dive. So, what'd it be? We're doing it. What? Should last you a good while. Maybe I could have bought that, whatever. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Too late. Looks like we're doing this. You can thank me later. I probably would have been able to. Well, dang, it. dang, man. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go over here. And what? I got so excited. I for you. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick. All right. So it. I crafted the plus one. It's whatevs. And I can buy the plat belt. And I can buy, yeah, I think if I get the plus two, it would probably be better. Sure, yeah, okay. You'll not find a better price than that. And then we'll go. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until... Oh, interesting. What? So I'll have the charged version? Automatically? Finished, are you? That might be actually hold on, we gotta while we're here. Well don't just stand there gulping. What a bat on the back, do ya? Well, I suppose you deserve one. Just don't let it go to your head. From what I hear. You would have been lost without Jill. To say nothing of yours truly, if it wasn't for me keeping you fed and kitted out, you'd neither of you'd stood a chance. But fair is fair. You took the chance I gave you and brought the whole bloody mountain down. I bet the Iron Blood couldn't believe their eyes. What is this voice? Mm, just have to find someone else to worship. Because there's plenty other folks in these fair isles who still reckon those rocks are worth more than their weight in diamonds. So, you keep doing what you're doing and show them how wrong they are. It's coin they want to put their faith in, and as long as you keep coughing it up, <laughs> my faith will stay in you. The lady's all about business. Try not to get yourself killed, eh? What do you need? Must have been hot. Fighting in the belly of that crag. 
might be work for you as a smith when you hang up the old sword. But I'm betting that won't be for a while. I know how hard it can be. Trying to fill another man's boots. But I reckon you've grown into seats nicely. He'd be proud. What'd you want? <laughs> Alright, let's go here. Yes, yes. Interesting. Hmm, so I got a pick, huh? Well, 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 well. No, we're good. Okay. This doesn't require it. All right. Anything else? Back, are ya? What do you want? Okay, so we'll go here and zoop. Uh. Oh, okay, good. I thought I thought I had screwed myself. I was like, wait, I only got. Nope, this is fine. I'm the best work, but nope. it'll do. You can find nope. me later. We'll do this. I'm nope. the best work, but it'll uh, do. We'll do this. Yeah, that should do you. Cool. All right. That it. That is it. So let's go down. Oh, my boy! Why are your feathers black, Mr. Crow? Is it because you spent too long in the Deadlands? What the hell are you talking about, kid? Car! <laughs> it's my crow Let voice, I guess. If you find any rotten planks, I'll see about replacing them. Not all my voices are going to be as spectacular as all my other voices, which are very, very good. Some say the best. Not me, I wouldn't say that, but some say that. Uh, Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and... I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, Sorrowise. and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Cool. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Great. I won't prior. There's no reason to prioritize that. I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. Especially considering I've got a bunch of other ones over here. This guitar is a vibe. I can't stress that enough. Just like. Okay, that's probably gonna be the new areas that I did before. Uh, yes. What did I get here? 
mistress. We're gonna fill that out. But I can't replace this song. Oh, no. <sighs> He's got an audience. The fires of freedom sweep the land, set holy ground to flame. And frozen hearts to soften start, released from frost's cruel claim. Cool. <laughs> Ivan's newest dish is a masterpiece. Once you get over the urge to gag, that is. <laughs> I love that the newest thing here at the base is like, terrible, terrible stew. It's so bad, you're going to throw up. Delicious. Oh, bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I have two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' racks are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. Mm. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? Good guy, Clive, always. Not. Yeah, all right, I'll do this too. Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me. I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. All right, cut from the cloth. I want to see what's going on. They give us new clothes, but we've no coin. Yo, we good like that though. We good people. Our man and Dalimor mentioned that Kupka's guard haven't been seen there of late. The calm before the storm, perhaps. Whoop, whoop. You'll be pleased to know we ain't heard a peep out of the Iron Blood since you cracked their crystal. Hopefully revenge is the last thing on their minds right now. You know that with every forward step you take, Koopo, every crystal cracked, every friend made, every enemy felled, the curse breakers are expanding their operations too. Which means more bearers being freed and more slavers being punished. But it also means more billets on the board, Koopo! Can't wait. What is there to do? Oh, we got a big honker. Secret. Okay. In Rosaria, mountain regions west of Rhiannon's Ride. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. The swamps surrounding Martha's Rest. Okay, and then we got this guy. Ooh, one of the fallen. Near Martha's Rest. North of Sarawise, west of Renon's Rise. So both in Rosaria. Both kind of out there. A B and a B. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if I can find them. Also, let's go here. Here for another of my lectures. I guess. What is it that you wish to learn? Do we have an update? Here's the latest information I have. Okay. What's the deal with Medicine Girl? Why she keeps showing up like this? What's going on here? She, she's important enough to be added to this list. <coughs> What's going on with her? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I, I can't tell if that's just like we're having fun or she's the key to the entire story. I don't know. I hesitate to guess anymore because 
Most of my guess is has been way off this One time. One must understand one's place in the world. All right, so they've retreated back to their main island. They've given this place up. Meanwhile, stalemate still stalemates. Thus ends today's lesson. Thank you. Actually, oh, there's one more thing I must know. Some say it's the most important thing. That that's that sum this time is exactly me. When I say some, I mean Jesse from the internet says this. I gotta go see my man. Did I level up? Twins. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. My knowledge is yours. And so, it is done. A feat, oh, I was waiting. A feat five long years in the making. With the Mother Crystal's finally cry, final cry, a legacy is passed from one outlaw to the next. Yet the tale is far from over. No, we cannot know if it will end in triumph or tragedy. I only pray that I am there to bear witness. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Level me up, Lord Daddy. Bing! Hell yes! I have quite the find for you today. Nice. The official name of the Order of Knights established in the Imperial Province of Rosaria, who persecute and purge bearers and those who shield them. Commonly known as the Black Shields, after the color of their armor, a hue seemingly chosen to differ differentiate this new elite order from the silver-clad dragoons. Unlike the heroic dragoons, however, they are feared and loathed throughout the Imperial Province. Craig Lusgt. The capital city of Heron, or, or the Iron Kingdom, located on the boiling sea island of Ironholm, several hundred leagues off the western coast of Rosaria. Its name means charred rock in the Herani tongue. A mother crystal which stood in the frozen wastes of northern storm lands now lost to the blight. Soon after the first... Uh, after the mother first fell, the tribes of the north, in a bit of desperation, marched south into Rosaria, Shiva's dominant at their fore. A terrible battle ensued, in which fire was pitted against ice, but eventually the phoenix and the ducal armies succeeded in driving back the invaders for a time. What subject shall we consider today? Interesting. Would that be under Mysteries of the Realm? In what would that be under? Mother, is there like an update on the amount, the total number of mother crystals? Crystal, either either floods, huh? Me lay of the land. We got Drake's head, right? I wish I wish it was. I wish all the Drakes were together. You know what I mean? Capital of the Kingdom of Lud. So that's way, way, way east. Its sheer walls strikingly similar to the towering cliffs that line the coast of Ash. The interior can only be gained by means of solitary stone span that stretches from the heart of the city proper. Being the last remaining mother crystal on ash, the crystals harvested from its surface are vital lifeline. Interesting. So there were others? In, in theory, there were others before? I guess like the one in the north? But what happened to them? Do we have more information about what? Drake's tale. Right, that is the one directly in the center. Drake's eye. Right, a mother crystal which stood. It, it did at some point. After the mother first fell, 
How did it fall? In what way did it fall? A lot of questions. No, no real answers yet. Maybe just Northern Territories? A bitterly cold corner of Storm's most, most northerly reaches, the loose collection of nations that sprang up around the region's erstwhile Mother Crystal Drake's eye, reunited and pacified by Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Right, 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 right. But nothing... Mother Crystal... It was originally home to a Mother Crystal known as Drake's Eye, around which a series of small... Right. In time, however, the Mother Crystal's power dwindled, and with it, the power of these warlike nations. But Why? And how? Did you learn everything you needed? Not really, Tomes. Not really, my dude. Farewell, Drake's breath. We still don't know the source of the blight. I think I got it figured out, right? Using up the ether and whatever. But we don't have any confirmation. They give us two clothes. Don't know what that's about. A man in Dalamo mentioned the cook is not up. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Where are you? <laughs> it's never gonna happen. In here. Gav! What's wrong? Rosaria's under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang, Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith, trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. 
all right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We Cue need to music. Know what we're getting ourselves into. This is so funny. Like the really tense music, and then bing, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Back to Rosalith then. Whatever has become of her. Do I have to go around? Okay. First he wrecked our home. Now he's wrecking yours. But he's not going to get away with it this time. Let me, uh... Yeah, let's, let's just do this real quick. Wow, I've got a sec. Okay. So, a lot of Martha's Rest stuff, and then the dim dogs, port, cliff, reeds. So just, maybe that's a good place to go, but also up here too. So let's start here. This should be the easiest one. Try to think of where I can find those two dudes, you know what I mean? Probably have to do some searching, but I think, I think I can figure it out. Keep them pilchards nice and chill. Look at this place. Let's hope the Draper has Hortense's cloth. Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone. Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bucklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. <laughs> okay. Get outside of town and magically call Ambrosia. First. Let's go. Like I'm gonna stop. Come on. Straight home now. Yoink. It's a menace! She meant nothing by it, I swear. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my park. Only after that feather brain trampled me, I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boclad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. 
And coin, too. Sorry, friend, but we'll be the ones taking it. Goons! Oi. Hired Get goons! Up. It's time to collect! I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Is that just a Wonders. tree? As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Does this man just bring a tree? I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Stop calling me that. Alright, well. Don't. I, I, you know, I assume I tripped over the uh, stone there. Is, nope, nope, okay, tripped over the stone again. That's what happened. Sun was in my eyes. Again, again, that damn sun. That damn sun! That guy gurgled. <laughs> Damn. That dude. Someone in a voice studio was like, <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. All right. You made your point. Killer my ass. <laughs> We're just going to let him, you? like, trot off. No. No, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. You I hide the last of me? Trot, 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 trot. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. Man's You'll got be a happy pressing to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. Hell yeah. That's that done yeah. then. Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. Okay. One down, and then let's go over to here. It'd be nice if I could see what I'm looking for from, like one of them's a minotaur and he's huge, right? So what if I could like see him from really far away? That'd be lovely. <laughs> What's going on in my brain? That'd be love. Lee. It's one of them days. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after you. It could take ages to tidy your horse. <laughs> All right, 
hoisted. Alright. That was a big honking chonker. Where would I be? I mean, I'll just, like, give this the old once-over and see where the hell... I mean, what's the worst could happen? None of these guys are tough. Well. Some was in my eyes, so like it makes sense. No, no, all this, all this sun. <laughs> all right, where the hell am I going? Let's go up and around and see what's over here. I imagine nothing, but items is items, and I like them so. That's one. What the hell is this thing doing out of the world? And Ooh, that's not good. This one. Man, this guy moves around, and then he gets just a little bit out of range, huh? Woo! Okay, all right, Mister. Oh, come on, I was trying to heal, dude. Oh. Oh, I tried to keep the pressure on and I just got smoked. <laughs> this guy hit so hard. Wow. Okay, don't dodge that, or don't jump in that. Oh, 
boy. I don't want to get hit. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now? All right, we're using everything. Screw it. Holy shit, is this the end of me? Am I gonna die here? Enough. <laughs> oh my god! Level up, I'll take it, that's full life. Holy shit, did you see? Did you see where my life was? It came, and to ruin it returns. No, no level up. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I got, I got nothing. I got a whole bunch of nothing. Holy, uh, the screen is like, bro. You need literally one, one potion. Please be a potion. Nope, clam clam shell. Three sh three shells. It's like demolition man up in this shit. The All right. She's near the Abbey is certainly damp. Let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan Beards. <laughs> Hello, goblins. <laughs> Please give me a level. Thank you. Oh, oh no. No, are they part of this? Okay. Size of a goblin's eye. All right. Well, here we go. Jesse Cox, dumb, dumb, dummy. Nope, 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 son. Nope, 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 nope. More, more shells? Bro, we got to talk about this whole shell problem. Why did I? Why is this the strategy I chose? Over here! I have to play it safe. Never look 
a gift gabo in in the mouth we're just gonna go back to town <laughs> heal up you know what i'm not gonna maybe it's for the best maybe it's a half full situation right right maybe R right What are you after? Dude. Good night's sleep. I don't know. Much obliged. There you go. Oh, not two, just one. Much obliged. Oh, Thank yes. you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other. Um, should I just use it now? Or take ages to tidy all this stuff up. Do I get full health just being in town? Because I just pressed it and it was like, nah, you good. But maybe because I'm in town it doesn't. I don't know. Alright, Sid. Everything respawned. Oh, lovely. Okay, well. We'll do that. Nope, we're not getting okay. Still no level. <laughs> Still no level. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll, we'll. It's fine. We'll get there. Crabs? Crabs. We got there. Level 30. Oh, that guy also was two levels higher than me at 31. So I guess that, I mean, I guess that would explain why he was a little bit more difficult. In theory, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's go beat up some goblins. I wonder if they're all respawned. Ooh. Well, if it isn't my favorite Edaman toys. Bro, bro. We don't even have to fight like this. I want to. You can live your life. You're just a turtle. Turtle, turtle. Live your life. She'll just over here in a standoff. I'm coming! <laughs> Confidence levels high. Stupidity low. Err. Just you and me, no you big sense. honk and chonker. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay, G uh, give me a second, though. I wasn't even ready. Absolute hell is happening right now. Come on, do your dumb thing. No, what?
I'm going to lose my mind. Are you kidding me right now? So I have to keep him in this... Kiss my whole butt. All right, come on, do your stupid move. Yep, here we go, big swing. Oh, come on, dodge, dodge, dodge. There we go, get strikes, big idiot! Yup. Okay. That's that. Now the real question is, where is this other dude? If I was a big honkin' chonker of a man, cow, where would I be? Can't remember if it said northwest. I feel like it was like it's the other way, Jesse. Maybe I should just go back and find out instead of trying to wander. That looked cool, though. Yeah, I don't particularly... Well, you know what? I'm here. I'm here. We might as well... We might as well wander. Because I'm thinking... Maybe here in this area? Or over here. In the cliffs and various hills. I think that's probably where it is, huh? How do you? I'm no fool. I'm not taking any chances this time. Let's go one, two. There you go. Yup. And then I'll buy another one of these. Thanks very much. Oh, but you know what? You know what, pal? I'm not going to push you out of the way. <laughs> You're the best boy ever. Where would I be without you? <laughs> In theory, should be this way, right? Just look for the giant figure on the horizon. First, we'll stop and get this. Might as well just follow the loop. Oh, do you think it's here? Excuse me, Minotaur Man, are you around here? Where would he be if I was a Minotaur Man? Hmm. Maybe here? Maybe here. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's like a... Did I just ignore that? Hold on. It has to be a little battleground area, right? Although the last guy wasn't in a little battleground area. He was just there. Yup, we got him. Okay. All right. Uh, I think the plan is I'm going to shield up. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so he did a thing there. Oh my lord. Already getting my butt handed to me. Come on, world. Why well, you got to be like this? All right, he's going to do a second. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. How do I, how do I not dodge that? Come on, man. Come on, man. There we go. My God. Get out of the way, Jill. He's coming. He's coming. Yo, let's go. And one more. so hype that was amazing now that was fun that was fun oh my god well all right i mean i guess 
we can just go back now, right? Man, that was... <laughs> Is that what everyone else playing this game looks like when they play? Oh my god, that was incredible. Blood pumping. Woo. Woo. I'm glad that shit was on film. <laughs> Someone include that in a highlight reel. Oh my god. It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? You you asked me to. I found Ooh. your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicers grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. What is this going to be? Is this going to be another item to equip that increases the proficiency of my heals? Like the green version, I guess? And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. Oh, okay. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. What At least that? I hope it will. So what exactly did I get? For increasing... Oh. Oh, okay. Is that like another thing? Huh. I mean, I'll take it. There you go. Probably would have been helpful on those boss fights, but you know. <laughs> Didn't need that last one. I'm still riding high off of that. You've obtained a file of Morgan Beard Extract. Hereby increasing the potency of most consumables. Both potions and high potions now restore more HP while strength, stone skin, and lionheart tonics last longer. Worth it. This is probably just more rep, which I'm totally okay with because I think I just hit 210. Gotta be worth something. Ladies, enjoy the clothes. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way, but you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which... Which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> Black embroidered linen, white continental silk, lush red velvet. Ooh, all right. 
I would say black embroidered linen. However, come on, come on. <laughs> this one, I suppose. I've a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? Interesting. I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but... When my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Is she gonna have like a little red something somewhere on her? That'd be interesting. It would stand out for sure. I would notice it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Feeling good about that. Lady Horten said she'd give us our dresses soon. Said they'd be made of linen. Not sackcloth. I've never had a dress made of linen. Doing good things here, people. We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's notice. All right, tell me what kind of good How stuff I just earned. Today, Clive? Where am I at? What's going on? And everything promised. Clerks. Ah, and here's the. Okay, this is the. You earned this. Right. They say it is your men who keep the roads free of beasts and bandit. As one whose livelihood is reliant on safe passage from market to market, my choke was, and I thank you. Two ninety-five. Come again. Oh, I got a I ways to go. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Okay, back over to Viv. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kupka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's Fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. 
Scarcely a handful of garrisons remained to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. Oh, are we gonna see Cross it? Cross the what? northern border near Phoenix Gate. Then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh. Will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. So are we going to actually, like, see the north? Like, north, north? I guess not. I guess we're literally just <laughs> going. Like, we went there. I would love it if we got to see more of this. You know what I mean? There are definitely some things that, while I very much, as, like, a history nerd... Love that stuff they just did. I also would like to see it just for the sake of, like, video gaming. See some of the, uh, different areas and, you know, if they were like, you have to walk north. Actually, like, we gotta go up and around. You know, I kind of would like that. I understand that's not necessary, but I would enjoy it. by the castle gates at once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.
gonna say it. We need more Gav in this game. More Gav, please. It's like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. I like to imagine Torgal just walked in. Nobody noticed. <laughs> just like... <laughs> This isn't an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Actually, I might as well just look over here, right? Okay, I figured maybe. I guess not. Maybe there'd be some loot. This is like a scene out of the trailer. Holy shit. Wow. Why do I do this? Dude, he is a giant dick. Like, wow. literally. We can get through here. Just a big, rocky piece of shit. We gotta take this dude out. Just like these goons! Oh, hold on. Protect. Some opponents will cast protect spells. Nah, nah, nah. Protect this shit. Oh, let's go! Well, 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 you know what? I mean, I guess. I guess. I, I guess. He did cast protect. He did cast protect, and I very quickly learned all about it. That was like a tutorial showing you what not to do. You're welcome. You're welcome for helping you out. I assume I can't jump up there. Okay. I yield! I yield! Yeah, no, kill those dudes. I don't give a shit about them. Kill him real good. Get nice and tired. Look what we have here. Gentlemen. <laughs> They're like lined up ready to die. Bless their souls. Bless their sweet souls. You won't escape. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, fellers. Cut them down with me, men, for the Emperor. Out of our way. Oh. 
Okay, well. Yeah, get broke, you big stupid idiot! Alright, that's goofy. Come on now. Why'd he do it to that guy? Alright, whatever. Farewell. So there's nothing over here. The real question. That's the way, huh? Then what is this? Nothing. Bodies, barricades. Equally barricaded. My man, my man, that's rude as shit. Oh, I screwed up my thing because of that. All right. All right, let's do this. Put this guy out of his misery. I ain't got time for this fool. Let's go, team! Let's go! What the hell? Come on, man. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't, I didn't parry that? Come on, man. What a goober. Alright, alright. Whew. Lots of boxes, not a lot of loot. Oh, 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 I saw that. You know what, I'll take it. Excuse me, Jill. All right, that's where we're going. Uh, that's where we're going. Oh boy. These guys. Hello, boys. I'm back. That's what I wanted. <laughs> that was the perfect example of sometimes I can do things that look super cool and sometimes I'm like, what does this button do again? Oof. So 
That's it. <laughs> Off we go. We're nearly at the castle. It ends there. All right, I was about to say, I'm going to look for that loot, which you know is right up here. The Wheel of Lightning Piled. Okay, okay. What is about to happen? Oh, well. I'm just going to... What are we going to... We're going to zap over there, I think. Oh, Lord. He's here. Remember, Get him. we take him alive. Take him alive, you guys goofed on this one. What? Okay. You know what, gentlemen? <laughs> you see that backhand of doom? It's over. Uh, I kicked him too far, but no, I did not! You leave my dog alone, you son of a bitch! Oh, oh that would have been nice. Loose. Oh, nice. I was waiting for this. Attack. Ready? What do you think? Come on, let's go. Let's go! Okay, I got cocky. Ooh. 
down but you and ooh, come on Sometimes I'm just like, let's do some cool shit. That was one of those times that felt awesome. Ah. <sighs> Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your slowering moment. Magic shackles? Fuck. You know who has to save the day, right? On to the festivity. You know who's got to save the day, right? Where's my boy? You gotta find Gav. You gotta find Gav, Torgal. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> we getting Gav time? I don't think we'd be that fortunate. <laughs> the game's good, but is it Gav good? We'll find out. She deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. 
You ought to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> Gav you bitch! Woo! <laughs> Gav! Shh! Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kubka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Nearly forgot. That's a real one right there! Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. Oh, I'm by my lonesome. I have to get to the courtyard. Okay. They're just restocking me now. Is that the way to go? Yup. Didn't have Torgal, so I had to rely on cinematography, I guess. Don't you let her die. We are fucked if you don't. Oh, there's that look at him. Oh, he's ready to go. Oh, I'm entertained. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. That's a good boy. <laughs> I can't. Everyone, with me. That includes you, Toko. Is he? Is he a shield? Is he Fenrir? What is the vibe with this dude? I have so many questions. I have so many questions about my good boy. Oh my God, they're sending him. Oh, I wasn't prepared. Too slow. Is he, is he, is he just filled with ether? What the? What happened to him? That would explain a lot, actually. Fight. I can try. Come on, 
man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I know how that works. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. No. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 my man. Him and we'll... who's left? Who wants it? <laughs> no one. No one. Still breathing, are you? Oh, Excellent. Lord. Then Lord Kupka's reward shall be ours. I thought bad news always came in threes. Let them come. <sighs> Oh, Lord, they're both here, huh? Okay, got him. Oh, I like fighting with Gav. This is... <laughs> Good night, dum-dum. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, all right. Sand in my eye, I get it. That's fine. That was fun. And a level? Ding. Okay. All right. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. <laughs> and they won't stop hunting us until Koopka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Are we gonna... talk about my dog? My magic, magic dog? It explains a lot, I'll be honest. But also explains nothing. by my hand. Yo, in the throne room? Oh my god, let's go. Anything up here? Enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Oh! 
Enough of your games, Kuka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice-damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. That's not true, bro. Yo, did Annabella do if it? If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. We're gonna the find the necklace on Annabella, I right? I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. No. You're just saying that. You. Oh, you no. You killed her. Yeah, no, I did, I did that. Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, no, that I did. Then I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together, we would rule like the gods we are! But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust! Hear me, most fears! You will pay! For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my bands! And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity and no mercy. <laughs> now die! <laughs> oh, my lord. This time, you learned what becomes of those who dare to cross me. Follow up he does sucks. Too slow. Use your lady shit again, you dog. Oh, that 
follow up every time. God.
Ay, ay, ay. Back off, back off, back off!
Sucking up the juice. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Is that the prince? Wait! Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. <laughs> Where did you learn to do that toggle? <laughs> I'm telling you. Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <sighs> Up. <laughs> you missed one. We were worried. So was I. <laughs> I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how you feeling? Ready to go home? Awesome. Crazy. But awesome.
just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friend's ever done that before... Fenrir? I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. They so in love. All right. Bolts from the blue. Power of Earth. Hell yeah. As a wind up, a single strike that increases potency when charged. Well, how the. And I have a block. Okay. We know I gotta look. The blood of Fenrir. Yep, this is where we're at now. What the shit? My boy is the strongest of boys. Now, I can't tell if this is like Final Fantasy XIV where Fenrir is associated with Shiva or if it's separate Fenrir. And maybe because he was exposed to all ether, he has like Fenrir. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are right now in this universe. What I do know, we got this, Mamma Mia. All right, nice. Question. So back over here, I need to pick. I can't just do, I can only do three. Ah, uh, interesting. All right. Rum's fun, but it's very, it seems like, out of the all, three that I use, I use these two way more. So let's try this and see what the deal is. Obviously, I can mix and match and do whatever, right? And that laser thing is, it's its fine. But, so this is the wind up. Punch forward, hold button to wind up attack. So if you hold it down, gotcha. And so it looks like there's a little red. See that red? Oh, if you hit it on the red, it does way... Okay, okay. Right, and then you can just hit it right away. So there's the wind-up. That's a fool. Interesting. That's just a slam. But you can hold it, do a big slam, and then what's the... You hit it on the red. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Does it slow time when I do that? Or am I going to have to sit there and... Pray no one attacks me. I, I guess. Also, what have I received today? Ah, these. Yeah, let's go back here. 4,000! Oh, Jesse, you gotta keep up with this, son. Um. I mean, part of me really wants to do this. That's so expensive, but... Oh, wrong thing. But... 
if I go here and replace it with this? Could I? I'm doing that. Let's get cuckoo bananas. Hell yeah. Why not? Also, limit break. Upgrade. Yeah, why not? Yeah, this is where I'm at mentally, spiritually, physically. Screw it. Screw it. I use this, and it looks so cool, and I want it to be very cool. And, uh... Increases all my shit as third limit break gauge. <sighs> Feeling good. Feeling real good about it. My dude, what's going on? Did I ever tell you about the time I toured the Northern Territories? I trust you wrapped up warm. I did no such thing, Koopo. We Moogles don't feel the cold, thanks to our exceptionally fluffy fur. You humans are the only animals who feel the need to dress up in the furs of those fluffier than yourselves, Koopo. In fact, that's precisely why I ended up cutting my torch short, Koopo. Oh, you... Anyway... A much better hero than a hat, is what I'm trying to say. Only one new... Oh, yeah, only one new one. Muddy murder. Ah, uh, we got a big old poopy ooze out there. The southern reaches of Rosaria. Okay. The moors and meadows of the region. Hmm. Hawks Cry Cliff Rosaria. I think I know exactly where that is. It's an A rank, though. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just go. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Kupka and his men had their fun with more than a few. None of the Empress's favorites, though. They all got away safe and sound. Yeah, pretty convenient, huh? Okay, let's, um... I think we're good. I'm gonna, uh, go here, and then here, and then here. And then here, and then... Right behind me. The longest way to go about five feet behind me. Here for another of my lectures. What is it that you wish to learn? One must understand one's place in the world. Okay. So this is kind of what just happened. The state of the realm is... I have the details here. Still the state of the realm, and this guy probably got updated. Uh, it, you know, he's missing some parts. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her back. Tom says he's looking for books about Toggle. I know. Let's write one. It's a good idea, actually. Oh, Gav. Tomes is going to look into what happened to Toggle for us. You make sure he's not hurting himself doing, well, whatever the fuck it is he did. My knowledge is yours. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Never mind, I'm not leveling up. What I don't know why I thought, like, consider today. I'm leveling, this is it. You are always welcome, Clive. All right. Now for the supreme suffering. Boy soldiers with their ruby stay. Stick steeds fed to the fire. Shall never burn away the pain. Till Oh. 
<laughs> Ivan's newest dish Man loves is it. a masterpiece. Once you get over the urge to gag, that is. That's how I feel about this man's music. Hey, oh! Speaking of important updates. Boy, what are you? Are you lost, Mr. Seagull? Or should I call you Mr. Lake Gull? Uh, I assume this is so right. Rosalith. See, there's nothing. Yup. Okay, interesting. Anything else? Right there, eh? Letters! I do love a good letter. Oh my god, what if you walked in here and his hands were just up on that wall? <laughs> that would be terrible, but also amazing. I apologize for what happened at Rosalith. I fear what might have been had not you, Gav, and Torgo fought so fiercely. Once again, you were there when I needed you most, and for that, I shall forever be grateful. Seeing the city I had once come to know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has left me with much sadness in my heart. But the time for looking back is beyond us. We must focus on the here and now. Our memories will be waiting for us when all this is when this is all through. Jill. All right. I still feel like we need a meanwhile or something. Just to get us caught up on the rest of what's going on. The little ones have been up to their own tricks. Oh, those little ones. It's the big ones you got to worry about. Not all of the nobles made it out. But, uh... Is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Uh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Goose Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. Right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. Is it his you daughter? Mean, how long will he be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please <sighs> oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. <laughs> Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? 
my fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... <laughs> Clive's like, mm-mm. The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Uh, I'm going to obviously do this. But... I, uh, before I even wager a guess, I want to know, I, I want to like let you know what was going on in my mind that entire scene. I was like, mid, like Miss Sid, mid, like Lady Sid, like that's cute, but also that's weird that there just be someone else with such a similar name to Sid. And then I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> All that was happening in my head that entire scene. I was like, wait a minute. A student of engineering at the University of Canver, she is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins, and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. Hold on. Important update. Blackthorn may be the manliest of men, but he does lack a certain tenderness. Boots. Meanwhile, is as burly as a behemoth, but as innocent as a babe in arms. Did she always have that backpack? Is that why she's wearing a backpack? Because of Goots? This lady. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? You would think, my man. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop, like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to camp to just her. he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick could see you now. Crazy. Right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Well, I'm on this now. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Basically, I need a smith, a merchant, and someone who can work wood. And let's face it, my student allowance ain't gonna stretch that far. So do us a favor, will ya? Yeah, no, I will. I will. For Sid. So instead of Cindy, we got Mid. I'm here for it, honestly. But no update? Like, definitely Sid's. Daughter of Sid, a student of engineering at the University of Canver. Yep. Look at that. Huh. Feeling all sorts of good about this. One of Sid's most trusted allies after Sid's hideaway was laid waste by Hugo Kupka and his minions, she and her hardworking yet long-suffering apprentice Goots followed Clive to the new hideaway in Brenemir. Benemir. <laughs> where they serve him in the same capacity they served his predecessor, sourcing whatever supplies her fellow residents are in need of. Resident Blacksmith. Yep, we all we all love the man. Okay. Alright. Mm, nope, I'm just gonna. Leave her to rest and continue on. 
I have a feeling they're gonna be like, you should go hunt down this thing I need. That's in some place in the world. But you know, if they have it in stock, that's cool too. That guy was like, hey, uh, Clive, moment of your t oh, okay, okay. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Wouldn't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. She's putting in work. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Okay, that's great. Ooh, we got new stuff. And what can I do for you? Ask about Mid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is irrepressible word. The girl doesn't let anything get her down, that's for certain. Quite the opposite. In fact, she's got a way of making every bugger else get up and dance to her tune. Like father, like daughter. Eh? <laughs> I'd say it ran in the blood if I didn't know better. I mean, they definitely seem like they are related. Can't wait to see what kind of queer contraption she comes up with next. So long as she doesn't try to rope me into building it for her. Coin purse weighing you down. Ah. Interesting. Oh boy. So we've got new stuff in the form of a hunter's, but also we've got, oh, that's the crafting stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I do have money now, that is true. Let me buy one of these. It'd better all be here. And one of these, You're rubbing me blind, just to be safe. You know. Yeah, 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 it happens. I am an outlaw. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? I hope! I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Right. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Clive. Summer storm, that one. Rolls in when you least expect it. Soaking you to your skin and leaving you wringing your breeches. <laughs> just like her old man. Keeps us on our toes, though. Yo, what's the what's the vibe, my man? L, yes. Okay, first off, and ding, 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 ding. No scratches, all right? Setting off. Oh lord. Oh no. Drake Slayer's belt. I do have the Electrum now. What is this? I need gelatinous mass, and that would be from the guy I need to kill here, right? The real qu the real question I have is. Is any of this going to be used later? Does that make any sense? Like, uh, will I need an Electrum later for something better? And is it better to save and not go all in on this now and wait? I don't know how this game plays. You know what I mean? Sometimes they do that where it's like, there's only one of them, but there's three things you can craft with it, and you used it too early. So far, it doesn't appear to be the case. So far, it's kind of like, um, uh, you go... You, you get an item, and then you can use that item to upgrade something else, like with the swords, right? So, 
let's go kill the mud, and then we'll come back and, and mess with these two things and s uh, see what's up. Because, you know, in theory, the, the gelatinous mass comes from the mud, I would think. The muddy guy that we have to fight. Um, but I don't know. I have no confirmation of any of this. We just got a new sword, so I'm feeling fine. So I'm not too stressed. I get oh he's down there okay do you know about mid can I just talk to people about mid like does Gav have when we find out anything nope. about Torgal yeah all right all right, the first. all right all right how good it is to see you Clive yes oh I want to ask about them too did you know Ted and Crow's parents were both bearers. Having lived so long in a world where so much was denied them, it could not have been easy for them to find love. But once they had... Oh, how brilliant did it burn. I love... Ah, uh, love. I love a love, yes. That only burned brighter once Ted and Crow were there to bask in it, to share it. Until it was taken away. Plunging the tweens into darkness, no man or woman, let alone child, should ever have to face. A pall that will ever hang over us, as long as the man who cast it walked free. Young Mead has always been too clever by half. From the moment of her very first steps. She would roam the hideaway, tearing apart everything she laid her little hands upon. But it wasn't until she started putting those things back together again that Sid realized his daughter had been blessed with a truly special talent. And so, rather than see it squandered, he swallowed his pride and sent Mid to the university in Canfer to study under the free city's finest mechanists. That was on her 11th name day. We have reaped the benefits of her studies ever since. Her inventions are a part of our daily lives here in the hideaway, even if she herself is not. As to why she has stayed away, I would hazard that a part of her is simply afraid. Afraid that coming home will remind her too much of what she has lost. If that is all, my friend. It is. It's what I was looking for. So what I was looking for, Tomes, you, you, you're doing it, and I love it. Jill looked white as a sheep. This sword is wild looking. I like it a lot. I like it. The good oil in this good. Sir? Should be enough to keep. How do, Master Sid? Bard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard? Hell yes. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Hell yes. Thank you, Bardolf. Hell yes. <laughs> Least I could do. Big fan of this. Okay. So... Oh, that's not the map. So... So... <laughs> took me far too long to get there. Um... Alright, so... That that's East Pool. That's the dim. Hawks Cry Cliff, I think, is where the mud was. Yes. Let's see where it puts me out at. I said the cliffs. So 
We'll figure it out. Map. So it's this area here somewhere. And if I need to, I can go shop and buy some stuff, but it's definitely... It's not going to be up here. That's shallop rock, so it's definitely... it's Alright, so it's in this area. Gotcha. Let's find it. I know what little goopy slime men look like in this game, so oh, son right. of a bitch. Uh, not, you're not gonna stay down? Okay, alright, man. Okay! Yo, look at my limit bar now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to take on. I don't even know what. All sorts of baddies. Speaking of baddies, I don't see... Hello? You're over there? Thing? And I'm going to take all the stuff. I'm going to take those clamshells, but... See down here? Maybe I was wrong. I don't. I don't see him at all. I'll take this thing. Um, I can't drop down over here, huh? That's a river. That's not helpful. I just. What is that? Well, okay, <laughs> I thought I saw a glow in the distance, and this is what I got. How did I not walk over this to begin with? Take us unawares, did you? Woo! <laughs> this guy. It's ludicrous. No, he's gonna spin. Okay, and I just got smacked up. Who is this? This is the slime version of me. Oh my god! This is the greatest slime! He is the Prince of Slimes. It makes sense now. This all checks out. Oh boy. There we go. Let's do this. Slime his ass! Let's go, Torvald! Yes! Let's use that ability! Oh my god, that looks so cool! <laughs> Let's go!
Yep. What is that, my man? Oh no, oh no. What the shit? That dual cast. Come my way, and we're fine. We're fine. Jump. Get him, Tortle. Get him, Tortle. That's a ridiculous ability. That's so funny. Whoop! Holy shit. All right, buddy. He's coming. He's coming in hard. Let's go. Jump. Terrible tactical error there, bud. Oh! Another close one. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I get the slime? Or whatever it is, the gel, the goop. I gotta level up. That's pretty good. Gelatinous mass. Yeah. Cool. All right. But I stayed now. Whatever it was. It's a badass. That thing had that, you know, that like slimy hand that was like the goopy hand. He would flick it at walls. If you were a kid in the 80s, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I guess it's also a 90s thing, but it seemed pretty toxic. So definitely like an 80s vibe. Let's be honest. All right. I'm going to. Ambrosia, take me to go buy Let's stuff. Go. Buy these real quick. You're a long way from home, aren't you? You're telling me, pal. Okay. I don't you ever feel like I need to buy all of them. You know what I mean? Because then I just end up. If you I won't be disappointed. Get any extra, it just is automatically used. And if I'm at full life, you know what? You know what I'm saying? I always feel like having one empty again? is the way to go, but I don't. I need to go where now? Uh, up here. Probably could have just gone here, gone to the guy here, then walked over to Martha, but... Sometimes I feel like, you know, I want to hang out with that brochure. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Uh... Home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. 
I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. The place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. Okay. Okay. Is that... <sighs> okay, so we gotta go to a whole new area, huh? Alright. Down for new. New is fun. Or it's a giant slime slapping your face around till you almost die. Magic ass bird. Let's go, girl. I don't think anything here is of a level that even matters to me when it comes to. Yeah, 19 ain't nothing. Out of the way, spider. Out of the way. Everything. Out of the way, dragon creature. Oh, that is not a. Okay, everyone's everyone's here. Everyone came for me. Get it. Ambrosia, we need to run. I might have gone the wrong way. It, you know what? It happens. Okay. Hell yes. You know what? Hell yes. So funny that's 15 gil. It almost seems totally pointless. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Like collecting gill of the ground, I don't know. I mean, okay. Oh, I have the lad who saved my life. Hey, Bernard. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And uh, if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Well, of course. Before we go? Of course. <sighs> well, that there is Cressida. Where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. I love slaying bogles. Thank you kindly. And take care. Not sure what a bogle is, but they're hanging out with beasts. They're clearly fiends. Actually, real quick. I'd be much obliged if you could rid the old place of nasties. And so would my mom and pa, I'm sure. Is there a Nope, that was a trick of the light. I swear I saw one of those box circles, you know what I mean? Rid the area of nasties on it. So many this nasties. Take long. This one. Okay. All right. All right. These birds can kiss my whole butt. They're not even afraid of the scarecrows. It's like it has no effect to them whatsoever. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, damn fence. That bird was still... That bird is a magic super bird. New enemies approach. All right, what if I go over here, grab this. Overkill, but I'll be honest, I don't care. <laughs> Ow! You know what, mister? Oh, I went too fast. Hold on, hold on. See? Alright, I need to figure this out. Oh, do I hold it down? I thought I... Okay, alright. So I hold it and then unleash? Oh, boy. Mister? Mister? I'm trying to learn my damn new abilities, mister! Thank you, bud. I needed that. And test. Hold. Gotcha. Hold. Understood. Understood. It's a hold, not a press, then try to hit it in the thing. Okay. All right. I feel like I learned a thing. There we go. Get smoked, you big idiot. That was a good time to learn. Not the best time, but it was a good time. Probably should have gone in the Eret Stone and actually just like done it in there. That is the point. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century. I was about to say. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Then I head back. What she thinks of anything else. Right, right, right. But is there any, like, uh... Anything around here? Maybe in the town? Got to be something. There is a back way. Okay, let's take this little tiny side path, even though running around this way doesn't make a lot of sense considering it had just gone the other way. Okay, well, there's this. There's this. All right, all right. Now we're cooking with gas.
I go in these places? I, I can go in them. I can go in them and up them and find... Yeah, okay. Worth the exploration. Well, this is just a battleground, if I've ever seen one. Fang, sharp fang. That's nothing. That's uh, also nothing. Okay, let's get out of here and go back. Before we, eh, there's no order really. But before we get out of here, let's go make those two items. Because it really does appear like it's just whatever. I just want to be sure. And could they have helped me on that boss? Certainly. Updates? Alright, yeah, you love Goots. We know, we know. Goots is, Goots is Goots. Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? Then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> you remind me of your dad so much. <laughs> but in like a overactive hyper kind of way which now makes me want to see that version of Sid <sighs> that's my good deed for the day done let's see how Jill's faring did Bernard say how long he was going to be I mean it's fine but I hope he comes soon we got the uh, more side quests, Mamma Mia. One is in the infirmary. Do no harm. Interesting. And the weight of command. All right, well, let's. Can I snooch down this way? But I want to help Miss Mididol with her experiments. And you can. As soon as you finish solving those equations. Oof, good luck, kid. I'm not helping with that. You were born in Rosalith, weren't you? Is it coming along? Hello. Let's make these things. Okay, yeah. So, will it be? Okay. Yes. It'll last you a good while. <laughs> what the? Un. <laughs> A gnat or something went and then walked on my microphone. Was he doing ASMR? What were you up to, little guy? And then when I looked at him, he was like, oh, he got me and then flew away. What the? What is going on in this office? What? <laughs> Where'd he come from? What? Yeah, all right, equip. Right, so I need a Scarletite for that. Which means I'll probably get another soon? I have no clue. I have no clue. Interesting. Interesting. Is that it? Fine. Maybe from one of these side quests? I don't know. It's alright. See, that's nothing to do. Jill looked white as a sheep. We brought her back. I drew it. 
Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. So the curse breaker goblins. managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? <sighs> Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped. And what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Yeah, we gotta go get cold. Now I'm curious if there's more Scarlet Titan. You ever yeah. convince yourself you figured a thing out, about? then craft a thing uh, yeah, and realize you don't have all the materials about. you need because for somewhere in your brain you're like, yeah, around. Scarlet Titan, I got that. And now you're worried you're never going to find Scarlet Titan again? Just me? <laughs> Oof. 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 Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. Ah, okay. He must have found something. Nice. But first. This guy, right here. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. You survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. Oh no. I still wish there was some other way. But griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Just tell me what you need. You... you'll go? Oh, thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find, if you know where to look. And I don't know. And for you, I do. Okay. Down the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Alright, this is the priority, I guess. We'll just zoop and zoop. And we'll do this right now. So we got that over there and right here. Back at Hawk's Cry Cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll go back to the cliff and we'll 
get blue blooms next to the river. Oh, it's not even that far away. Easy. Potentially easy. The river was easy enough to find. Yeah. Now for those herbs. Oh, we got raptors. Oh, baby, we got raptors. Hello, bo oh, oh, that's the wrong. Hello, bo <laughs> it took me a minute. It took me a sec. What can I say? Those guys straight up just walked out of my fire. Well, that's embarrassing. Guys, gang, gang, enough. That's right, all the effects. I mean, that did that. Who's left? We got the. Oh, this asshole? You leave my dog alone. <laughs> Come to me, loot. I need to uh get more of those giants. I plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. I know what I'm spending my damn money on. Those mega spells. Holy crap, they're amazing. Should be enough to keep the infirmary stock for a while. Or I guess AP. Hopefully this will put Rodriguez's mind at ease. Nice. That's it. We're done. Well, that was simple. I'm all about simple. Oh boy. What's, uh, what is that? Was that refilled or have I just never once been like, I guess I'll look right there. Come to me, Ambrosia! Good girl. Faster. Be safe. Gang, hi. Cole, I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. She hasn't heard anything since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? The goblins may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See Let me take dangers. care of the goblins. I'll handle the rest. I love fighting goblins. All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. I have a sound strategy of luring them away, only for them to just, like, be pulled back. But then I lure them away at least one more time, and then they go back, because I don't learn my lesson. When the goblins drove off the slaver's guard, I... I thought they might be doing us a favor. Damn fool. They're like right there. Oh look, it's my favorite biggin. Hello, boys. Actually, what am I doing? Jesse, we're doing this. <laughs> Get smoked, dummy. Oh my whole butt. Over 
over here. Yep, see, that's what happens when they can just move out of the way. The coolness of that, it looks cool, but I don't know that it does anything cool. So it do that damage. All right, he's coming through. Oh, come on. I pressed the button at least. <laughs> I was pressing buttons. Smoke, son. I like my gobbo. Uh oh, hold on. Extra crispy. Don't know why I said that while I used the rock spell. <laughs> Crunchy, maybe. Crunchy. I like him. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that fight was rocky. Who are you? A friend. Are there any more survivors? Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Perhaps. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom. Safety. The life you've been denied. Come with us. Let us protect you. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you. You weren't too late then. Thank the gods. This man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Fine. Do with us what you will. What we'll do with you is take you to safety. After that, it's up to you. Your lives are your own now. You can leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. Hmm. Did it? Did it? Feeling good? I'm just always... Just shocked by the the absolute. I don't know. It, it's. I don't want to say depressing nature, but the realism of the way that not only the branded are treated, but more importantly, the way that they view themselves. It's wild. But it. It checks out. The Netherlands have been at if you were beat down like that, you would be the same way. Sid, welcome back. A Stolas from the Dame arrived not long after you left. Whoops. If I'd just waited a little longer, I might have been able to deal with things myself. Or maybe I wouldn't. I keep making the wrong decisions. Cole and the others got home safely. You made exactly the right decision. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I sent Cole and you after them woefully unprepared. What kind of leader sends people into danger without considering all the risks? I should have urged greater caution, told Cole to be wary, to pull back at the first sign of trouble. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well, Cole. I'm sorry. 
With all due respect, we curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. No one with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than sees to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never doubted your courage. Only my ability to see it put to good use. Thank you for your faith in me. I'm not sure I deserve it. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. Ooh. Okay. I like help. I like helping them out. I like they help out too. Oh, I see that. Actually, real quick. I didn't mean to doubt my comrades, but I couldn't leave them out there either. I need to trust them more. I I see that. But that doesn't mean I need to care about them any less. Why you're a good leader! I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Only the usual. I summoned a tornado, oh, yes. fixed it right up. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. That's what I was wondering about. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people. Not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb, knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we never won for volunteers. Why do you think that is? Conviction? They're willing to die? They're willing to fight. To give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy. But neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. I'm still blown away by the fact that everyone here is, is like so good that when Sid was just a good guy, I was like, something's up with this dude. I don't trust him. What issues do I have where I was like, everyone here is a genuinely good person and they're just trying to make ends meet. I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> Something's up with this. I, for one, am happy I'm to have them as friends. My fear get the better of me. I'm ready to be stronger for the hideaway for all of us. 
Damn the bastard who thought to mix branding ink with the foulest poison known to man. Since then, bearers have only ever had two choices. Court the crystal's curse in service of their masters, or defy the brand and suffer the wyvern's wrath. Either way, it's an agonizing death. Yeah, I, was, but, I mean, it makes sense. I was wondering, you know, you could just cut it off. But I guess that all checks out. Because if it's poison, you know what I mean? Let's go here. What did I earn? How may I help you today, Clive? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Yo, oh, we're very close. One dire wolf, Jess? Not long ago, I was accosted by footpads as I walked the gilded path and would have perished alone in the desert had not the curse breakers come to my aid. I owe them my life. May this token serve them well. You earned this. Come real, again. Real, real I may quick. have more for you. Okay. Real quick. That's uh, defense 30, attack 12, and dire wolf Jess. Combo damage by five. This is one of those things where I wish I was like some sort of min max master because I lose 12 attack, but combo damage increases by 5%. What's the difference of 5% on a combo versus 12 normal attack? What's the mathematical difference on that? <laughs> like what is better here? I would imagine the combo is better, but I don't know. And when it says increases attack, is that every attack? Is that when I do the the Garuda swipes? Is that does that count as? But then it, I hit the combos. So does that, bro? I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. It, there's got. I mean, let's put it on, and we'll just see what happens. I guess. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Yeah. What's everyone whispering about? Alright, let's find out about Torgal. The little ones have been up to their own tricks again. I'm thinking we're gonna get like use Fenrir or something, but Chill. I'm also thinking maybe the exposure to the ether changed him? Or was he always this way? I don't know. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him, like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries and Seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. Do you think that's the crystal that's- What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who Fenrir. served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. I know my Final Fantasy lore. Frost Wolf. Yeah. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. Oh, that's very sweet. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Hmm. 
Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. The finest. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> Kubo nuts. I need Kubo you to introduce nuts. us so we can get to work. I shall be a moment. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna worm my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Why do I recognize her voice? What is she? Who is that actor? Why do I know that that's settled? I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Right, but first... Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. Okay, so nothing yet is what you're telling me. Also, is this slab from the ship? Because that's cool as hell. We have everything we need to begin work in earnest. And work in earnest we shall! <laughs> is this little doll thing part of what you need? Yes, very important to my work! Alright. Thanks for before, son. That was a good deed you did me. Only right I do you one in return. Though I did wonder if I'd bit off more than I could chew when Mid showed me her plans for the place. If she hadn't been there to tell me what to do, I wouldn't have known where to start. Is this like a... What's going on in here? Nothing at the moment. Okay. I'm hoping this will somehow, in some way, lead... I wish Miss Mididor would let us help her with her dungeoneering. <laughs> I wonder kidding. what she's going to dungeoneer next. Let's go and ask her. I wonder if that's going to lead to more potions, you know? I've got to be able to get more than four, three the entire time. I think I'll wait till mid some ways to get Ma'am. Blackthorn, maybe. Okay, she's still into him. Goots lasting the longest. I feel for him. I, I, you know what? My man. My man. What a tender, tender boy. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Not like right now, though, right? Or... What? Here. <laughs> Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? If 
for your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> I love this man. Meanwhile, there we go. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win it. Barf, 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 barf. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, Your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp, and await my orders. If 
that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. I have so many thoughts. May Gregor forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. I'm holding my thoughts. They're being held. And... What is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. Okay. <laughs> Can we all agree that Dion is giving very strong Mirror of Clive vibes? Right? Like, I mean, literally, the I don't know if the same mom, but potentially stepmom for him. And uh, the new son, who she is like, he's better than the old son, and he's the warrior, and except... Instead of Clive's father, who was like a good man, the Emperor's kind of like just a piece of shit who doesn't trust his son clearly and is like, go fight. You're a Bahamut. Go fight. Go go kill stuff. And here's my question. Because I, I don't think the dude who punched Kupka was him anymore. At first I was like, oh, is that the prince? But I don't think the voice is the same. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But, um... Do you think... It's finished outfit in a little workshop by here. With a little help from Sid. Either it's gonna be Our new leaders that no Dion her is the enemy, the number one enemy of Clive by the end of this. Like they're the mirrors of each other. Or what if they are like become friends? Like what if they're they're like partners by the end of this? Because Dion doesn't look like... Like, he seems like a good dude, right? Even when we saw him earlier, he seemed like a pretty... Okay, like, he was chill with his his fellow, uh, I, I guess, officers, right? His attendants. I don't know. I don't know. I'm picking up, like, vibes off of him. And I'm like, is this a hero? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I could be way off. I've been way off so far. Many times in this game. But I'm throwing it out there. Let's see if it sticks. Also, before we see, yeah, we're good. I had to check. For some reason, I was like, well, there's more quests. Which is one thing after another around My dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. I love Wade. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth to Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? <laughs> Two thousand! <laughs> Cap! <laughs> His face! That was such good animation. <laughs> and I'm afraid that is all I know. 
A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Walluder? Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet or that. and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Well, it's because they were working together with the... the Waluders, right? For their, like, so perfect world. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost... Crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. Hmm. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Candlewood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. By the way, you Very guys... well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Got any scarlet tight or anything on you, dude? Just like one. Also, while we're here, oh, <laughs> just jump. And how may I assist you today? Oh boy. We met under curious circumstances. I think it's fair to say it was during my time at the university. I had returned to my lecture hall to collect some notes and discovered Mid crouched under the lectern, sketching some design or other by candlelight. It transpired that she had fashioned a key and had been using my classroom as her own secret study, place of quiet refuge from the overzealous tutors and the like. Naturally. I insisted she leave, but mid being mid, she refused to take no for an answer, and before I knew it, 
I had not only allowed her to continue her late night studies, but had agreed to take her on as a pupil in the bargain. Though I soon wished I hadn't. Her refusal to deter, uh, defer to authority was no less evident in my lectures. Was this my reward for years of painstaking study, I wondered? To be teased and tormented by some oil-stained stripling who seemed to delight in my discomfort? Still. Our time together was not entirely disagreeable. Not least because it was she who unearthed the plot against my life and encouraged you to come and whisk me away to safety. And so I came to take refuge in your base of operations just as she once did in mine. Lord Byron Rossfield. Of the Seven High Houses, Protector of Port Isild. And your uncle, no less. I heard tell. He was an adventurous soul, and journeying alone to the secret lair of the villainous Sid the Outlaw would certainly seem to give truth to such rumors. He will make a valuable ally and a generous one, I hope, and his connections among the nobility will shortly prove useful. Why? Perhaps we will soon be inviting the heads of the remaining high houses to a grand soiree here at the hideaway. I must practice my steps. Okay, what real, is it that you wish to learn? Real quick. Here's the latest information I have. Okay. So that's who it was. Odin's dominant is Barnabas. The Lord Commander is who Yeah! That's the guy. I got him and the prince mixed up. That's the dude who it was. Yep. So 100% they grabbed him and pulled him back. Because their conversation, and her conversation with Sid and us, they were like, come on. This dude right here, Barnabas, he's setting up some sort of like cool dominant <laughs> Avengers gang, and we want to hang out with him. Obviously he's up to no good, but okay. That's what I wanted to check in on. One must understand one's place in the world. So we're going to the desert, huh? While these guys are off over here. And this dude's injured, we're gonna go down to Drake's Fang. Hell yes. Let's go. The state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. Otto, Kuka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kuka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The lands around the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalimil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Okay. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalimil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. I got a great gang. I heard they called Rosina the Desert Hare on account of how little escapes her ears. That and her habit of bolting at the first sign of danger. But if she knew Sid was looking for her, she might just be tempted back out of her burrow. What's wrong, Gav? It's this gold your uncle gave us. Are you sure it's all right for us to take it? My uncle isn't easily refused, especially where dispersing his wealth is concerned. But 2,000 talents, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how much that is in Gil. It's the price of a quayside mansion in the Crystalline Dominion. He sold one to fund our endeavor. He was hoping to part with it anyway, what with war brewing in the region. And luckily for him, a Sambraqua noble was willing to pay over the odds for a foothold in the Holy Emperor's neighborhood. But still, uh, 2,000 talents. 
I mean, is it normal for nobles to give away that kind of money? Dude, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Normal for my uncle. Fuck me. Oh, the other half live here. <laughs> well, now that we've got a few gills to rub together, do you think it'd be all right if I splashed out on a few bottles of Lost Wings finest? Here, leave some for the rest of us, Otto. If he's filling his cellar, I'm filling our larder. Starting with a barrel of the best salt-cured northern salmon. I'll leave you to decide how best to use it. Just don't spend all at once, all right? Uh, love it. Big fan. This guy got nothing for me, huh? And we kind of did everything. What up, Unc? All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Is this man gonna fight alongside me? Are we going, like, swashbuckling? Hell yes. 